Hey, it's Christina with Mint Strings, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove a pick guard. I'm sure there's other videos, but uh, I've had a lot of people ask me, um, hey, I bought your pick guard, how do I take mine off? So let's go through a couple things. Um, one, this is my Garrison guitar. Uh, I believe it's from the late 90s or early 2000s. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. This is the original pick guard, and um, I've already started doing this, but the first thing you want to do is, I don't care how new or old the, the guitar is, check and see if it has this plastic on it. Um, it. This was looking really dull, and I never really thought about it until I decided to take this off, and I realized, oh, this is on here. Um, so whether you, you're, and, and for you guys, I would definitely recommend using a hairdryer. I've done this so many times that I'm going to be using my, um, my heat gun. Uh, to take this off, but uh, use a hairdryer, please. You don't want to damage your top. Uh, so anyhow, I, I just finished picking with my knife at the corner. Uh, this is actually pretty old, so it was a little bit difficult to come off to start. Um, it actually looks way better now that I'm taking this plastic piece off. Uh, luckily, it all came off in one piece. It did leave some residue. Uh, that's why you want to take them off within the first, I would say, couple of years. I know a lot of people like to keep them protected as long as they can, but uh, let's see if we can get that in the picture here. It, it, maybe you'll see it uh, with that light going over it. Uh, but it left a residue. That can be cleaned off, typically with alcohol or my other favorite uh, glue remover, which is Goof Off uh, or uh, Goo Gone. Um, one of those two work really well. It's oil-based, works very well. Anyhow, back to the job at hand. Uh, what I'm going to do now uh, is I'm going to heat this very slowly, um, and it should, even though this is 20 or so years old, it should come off fairly easily because this is a gloss top. Now, I'm going to show you something if I can get it again in the light. You see the ridges? You can see the ridges in the clear coat. That's because this is an extremely light coating of gloss on this guitar. When you see ridges like that, that's actually a good thing because it means that they, they did such a good light coat. It protects, but it's not going to affect the top very much. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and heat this up a little bit. I'm going to continue to try it on my hand. I'm also going to be feeling the top. You want to keep it on the pit guard itself. doesn't take very much. This pick guard is a, a typical thickness pick guard, so it should pretty much be the same as what you're going to deal with when you pull it off. Start pulling at the corner. This is already starting to come up, which is good. Do a back and forth motion. Do not leave this sitting in one spot for any length of time. I don't care if you're using a hairdryer or um, this. Um, um, heat gun. I'm having a problem talking today. So we're going to continue on low. I have my finger under the edge here. I can feel it coming up. I'm going to keep it moving. Back and forth. So what you can do from here... is grab a pick and throw a pick under there. And that's gonna help you pull this off slowly and gently. Again, slow and gentle, very slow and very gentle. Um, you don't wanna ruin anything underneath because let me tell you something, if you damage the top on this, you are not gonna be a happy camper. I've seen it happen and I don't, don't wanna deal with that for sure. So, as you can see, I'm just going to push that pick in a little further. I don't care if a little bit of glue is left on the top. That's going to be simple to get off. Um, you don't want to pull back. You want to just kind of lift it off. As you continue to push in here, pulling up some of the glue. Um, this is going to take a bit of time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'll come back in just a couple minutes. 
So I'm just about two minutes into this, not very long. I've, I've heated this top up and you can see what I'm doing is now that this is warm, I shouldn't say top, I heated up the pick guard. I'm going around the edge and I'm prying up the edge. Again, you don't want to pull this back. You want to pry little by little um, and then heat and pry. Again, this is a 20 or so year old guitar, so it's gonna take me a while. So I'm gonna pause this again and I'll come back in a couple minutes. Okay, another two minutes in and hopefully you can see, I'll tilt this, uh, how I've pulled up the edge here. And the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, what we're gonna do is pull this a little bit at a time. We're not gonna rip this off. We're gonna go very slow, very steady. Um, I've covered this area with a towel just to protect the strings and, and the pickup from the heat. Um, it's not very much heat. It's actually on very low and I'm holding it about five or six inches away and that's keeping this heating and not the top. So I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, another two minutes and we're moving along pretty well. Uh, I've come around the edge here and now I'm uh, at the tip here. I know it's going to seem really, it's, <laughs> you might want to tear, please don't. We're working slowly um, around the corner here. I want to keep this as flat as possible. Uh, I'm okay leaving any glue. And there's my dog, uh, Cooper, protecting my front door. Uh, anyhow, so I'm going to continue on, heat this a little bit more, and I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, been another two minutes, and I've got this corner up here. Um, what I'm going to do is heat and slowly pull this upward. Um, I'm going to kind of use my pick to push it along. I really don't want to pull up. I want to try to get this pick under there. So I'm pulling up just enough to get the pick under there. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to have to find something a little bit longer to get along the edge here. Uh, one of the things I noticed, um, which tells me when this is warm, is that this is getting very, very shiny. Um, and also, as this cools, this is kind of folded down a little bit, so I'm going to have to reheat this side here. So keep that in mind that as you're working um, on the newer guitars, this is going to be super easy and much faster. Um, don't pull up, just, you know, pry slowly as you go. Um, but these older ones are going to take time. This is going to fold back down. You're going to have to reheat, pull, uh, pull slightly and gently. Uh, to get this up and um, anyway so I'm going to heat some more and uh, continue along the edge here. <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is get this whole edge up uh, and that will allow me to continue my way down and, and get all this uh, um, get this whole pit guard off. So I'll be back in a minute. So I'm going to show you a little bit more as I'm working. So I'm heating this slowly working my way around this corner here. Just hitting it with a little bit of heat. At this point, the glue underneath has been loosened enough that you only need to hit with a little tiny bit of heat. Um, you, you can start folding this part over, depending on what kind of pick guard you have. Uh, using a pick works really well, as you can see. Um, poking in and then turning it to the side. So I'm going to pause it again here and I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, here's an interesting note. Um, most guitar picks, pick guards that I take off um, don't come off this way. Uh, this is the first really old one I've taken off and um, what's really nice is that it's, uh, it, as it warms it becomes very pliable and um, I will tell you from my uh, graphic and pinstriping days that uh, when you pull something off you want to put it at this angle here as tightly to the top as possible and pull. Um, just the easiest way to take it off. It doesn't, doesn't really apply uh, um, in terms of what we're doing here. Um, what it does though is it, it keeps the correct angle. So this is already, you can see that's already starting to stiffen up a little bit. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. So this is what I'm doing. I warmed it, I've been warming it up a little bit, push it down this way, and then I take the pick and run it along here. And what that's doing is it's separating and leaving glue on the top and glue on the pick guard. Um, and this is working out really well. So this may be the way you want to do it if you have an older guitar and you're taking the pick guard off. Um, 
still going here. It's, I can feel it cooling down already, but I'm going to go as far as I can in terms of pulling this off without heating any more. I can feel the glue starting to get a little hard. So I'm going to soften this back up again. Again, I'm using a heat gun um, on a very low setting and I'm just holding this in place. I'm not pulling anything. I just want to warm it just a hair like that. And then I'm going to go back at it with the pick. And this pick is actually working out pretty well. So I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, now I'm changing the angle here on the direction I'm pulling this off. This is still a bit flexible. I'm now coming around the corner here. I'm going to pull in this direction. It's going to be difficult to do this with the string on. Um, and quite honestly, I think pulling up this way, pulling off this way is going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to continue on heating because we're almost done. And I will be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, here's another interesting note. Uh, so I was telling you how I was going to pull off this way. Um, I've changed my mind on that because of the direction of the grain. I don't want to accidentally pull. So I'm actually going to continue down this way and come around the, the uh, sound hole and the strings from this angle. Um, and again, as this uh, glue and pick guard cools, I'm reheating a little bit at a time. So almost done and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're down to the last little tiny bit and don't ever pull, pull, pull and tear. You wanna continue on with your pick until this is completely removed from the top. The glue is nice and soft. Hopefully I can get it done before the glue hardens anymore. I think we're there, here we go. So now we've released the pick guard from the top of the guitar. Um, you can see some of the glue and backing is still on here, and there's also quite a bit here. Uh, I'm going to go and clean this up uh, with my Dugon. So I'm going to spray some on here, cover my strings. And then I'm going to go ahead and rub it in and leave it for a while because that's how this stuff works. It's great because it is oil-based. It doesn't hurt anything. It's not gonna hurt the top, but it will definitely help get rid of the uh, glue on the top. So just massage it in to the, to the glue. Um, in the meantime, while we're waiting for this to uh, get this glue loosened up, uh, I do wanna show you, obviously, it's pretty glaring that the top has aged and underneath the top is not uh, darkened as the the top of the guitar has. It's, um, it's, it's much darker here than it is under the pick guard. That's normal and to be expected, uh, especially as the guitar gets older. Um, you might want to take this into consideration depending on how old your guitar is. Um, you may not want to uh, do this unless it completely covers. This is an oddball size and shape. Um, kind of rounded up top here. It's sort of half Taylor-ish because the way it dips, but there's no indentation here, but there is here. It's not pointed. It's just, you know, it's kind of one of those oddball um, pick guards. But uh, anyway, this is my guitar. I'm going to keep it. I love this guitar. Um, it has the, um, it's the uh, uh, shell with the, the top and sides attached. Um, if you don't know about Garrison, you should just definitely look them up. It's, if, and if you can get your hands on an original Garrison like this one, buy it. These are awesome guitars. They resonate so well. They just sound so great. They're, they're just amazing guitars. Um, it's too bad that Gibson bought out the company and, and uh, basically ran it to the ground, I think, purposefully. They, don't, they didn't want to use this design for whatever reason. They didn't want it to be on the market for whatever reason. Um, but I think it's a very well-made guitar, and I think it just, it's, it's such a... Uh, it shows so much how how um, people, engineers, and other people take into consideration, you know, how a guitar works, how it sounds, and um, kind of runs with new designs. So this was a new design back in the '90s. Um, Rain Song is it Rain Song? I believe has something similar. Uh, the way they have their design. Okay, so we're a little bit in. You can see some smearing of the glue, which is good. Um, I can feel some of the oil, oil has been absorbed into the glue. So I'm just going to rub this 
and continue to um, change to a cleaner part of the paper towel and it will continue to rub off the glue. This is a little bit of a process. It only takes a couple minutes, but I'm not going to waste your time with this. Um, again, uh, Goo Gone and Goof Off, both great products for taking glue off. You're definitely going to want it if you're removing your pick guard. Okay, so I will be back in a couple minutes. Okay, we're back, and the pick guard is completely off. It's been cleaned. Um, use the Goof Off um, oil-based uh, glue remover. And as you can see, like I stated, the um, color difference, this is an older guitar, so expect that on yours if your guitar is more than, I would say, probably 10 years old, and also depending on where it was kept. Um, but again, I don't really care. This is my guitar. I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, anyway, so I have a couple options that I'm thinking about. I do like the redwood with the cedar top. I think the redwood and cedar look really nice together. Uh, fitment on pick guard. Um... I think I've, I've explained this before. The, they very, very rarely go all the way to the, to the sound hole. And of course, with this here, um, has a, 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 this um, a double X pickup, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, it's it's going to be in the way. Um, you usually don't go that far in. Usually, when you're picking, because you're picking to here, you're not picking here. If you're picking and you're hitting your sound hole, you're playing wrong. <laughs> and I don't play very well, but I do know that. <laughs> so anyhow, um, pit guards are meant to be uh, outside the hole, uh, the diameter of the hole. And the diameter I'm talking is measurement from here to here. I know a lot of people are not familiar, don't remember your math, but it's from here to here. And that's how you measure is, is here to here, here to here, whichever. Any, any angle is fine as long as it's directly across. Um, but you can see the, the rosette here. This is an inlaid maple and uh, uh, rosewood. Um, but I do look, like the redwood look on the cedar top. I'm sorry, this is a spruce top, not cedar. This is spruce top. Um, but it looks good with the rosewood. So this is definitely an option. I'm actually not going to install one today because I believe I'm going to make a custom-made one for this to cover this entire area. But you can see if you did take that off and you decide to put something like this on there, it covers a very large area of, of, of the pit guard where it was. And there's just a light spot up here. Um, so again, keep that in mind. Here's another one. This is our tailor. This is one of the premium ones. Nice, thin, uh, beautiful mother of pearl with abalone. Um, this would look really nice too because of the bridge. Bridge is a, a rosewood. Bridge is a little bit darker than this. We do have, uh, this could be oiled. Um, this has not been oiled yet. So, uh, and I don't oil these, and, and you know, customers can do that as, as they wish. Um, but I do suggest oiling if you have a, a pick guard. Uh, wood pick guard to oil it when you do your fret bar fret board um, on also oiling the bridge <clears throat> so um, this would look nice as well uh, it doesn't cover quite as much here but again I think I'm gonna custom make a pick guard but anyway now that you see how this comes off you can see um, the results of an older guitar and what else glue removal uh, take it slow um, yeah so that's pretty much it. You just want to be super careful when you're doing the, the, the pick guard removal. Slow and steady wins the race, and slow and steady prevents damage. So uh, hopefully it helps you guys out. Thanks, and have a great day.